In this personal defense world DIY project video, we're showcasing a hidden safe room construction project and spotlighting some of the cool gear and products that we packed into this small concealed space. Ever since I was a kid, watching movies like James Bond, Batman, and John Wick, I've always wanted to work on a secret hidden room. You know, a space where you can keep all of your cool gear and uh, accessories. Well, knowing that I'm a diehard dork for tactical tech and home security improvements, and that I'm semi-skilled when it comes to basic home renovation tasks, one of my best friends since childhood, whose name has been omitted for secrecy, asked if I would consult and help him build out a secret gun storage room in his brand new home build. Of course, I signed on immediately, and he even granted me permission to document the process so that I can share it here with the community. Now, what I didn't expect during this process was how much of a challenge pulling off this hidden space would be, specifically with regards to the size of the space that we had to work in. Now, most two-story homeowners across the country have completely unused storage space right beneath their feet, literally. The question for us was, could we accomplish a cool, hidden, concealed room build with only 48 square feet of otherwise cramped, dark crawl space to work with? Well, we were about to find out. Now, disclaimer, this is not a how-to, this is not a tutorial. We are not personally licensed contractors, although we did consult with many within the family during this process. This video is more about inspiration and, again, documenting a process that turned out to be pretty cool once all was said and done. It also gave us an opportunity to showcase some really cool, really innovative new products that were modular and helped us outfit this space with the amount of gear we wanted to put inside it while keeping it safe and secure. So the project goals on this one. First, the room needed to serve as a clandestine, safe storage and display area for my buddy's growing collection of firearms, ammo, and survival gear, and concealment was far more important to him than this room being a truly ballistically hardened panic room or safe room on the available budget and with the size and space and timeline we had to work with. Basically, out of sight, out of mind were key components of this room. So on the planning and execution side, maintaining low exposure was desired, so no outside contractors or help would be hired for this project. Luckily, there were a few professional trades in the family who were willing to help supplement our amateur labor. And word to the wise, right up front and center, when it comes to wiring and electrical, always rely on a professional. Nothing would be more embarrassing than having your safe room's poorly installed electrical wiring end up burning your whole house down. So that disclaimer aside and digging right in, first we carefully carved out the drywall where the entryway would be, where a hidden flush mounted bookcase door by the master crafters at Murphy Door would be inset and serve as the entry point to the whole chamber. Now Murphy Door is really cool because they produce custom fit concealed hinge doors that come delivered pre-hung in a door jam and are ready to be installed pretty much out of the box. Now the flush mount bookcase doors easily replace any door in your home. They can be configured as an in-swing and out-swing and they feature numerous wood type styles, paint and stain options. But the door we ordered to fit the dimensions of our wall also featured a sturdy two bar deadbolt locking system, which was really important to us. The install of the door was really smooth, and while we reinforced the entry area and got this door in, over the next few weekends, our electrician buddy set to work wiring the room and added three outlets, two low-profile overhead directional lights and a single overhead articulating gallery light, as well as a master wall switch that was equipped with a motion sensor option that basically triggers the lights upon entry to the room. And we got Jacob here, the electrician, and he is, the noise behind me, he's working away, running uh, Romex for the interior lighting that will be both motion activation capable and manual switch capable. After the electrical was completed, the tedious task of measuring, cutting, and wedging drywall sheets into tight quarters began. Now this is where my personal labor came in handy. I'd done a bit of drywall, and after playing a very challenging real life game of Tetris with all the drywall panels, I then taped the joints, applied mud and texture, and then painted the entire space. Time lapse makes everything look quick and easy, but let me tell you, in cramped spaces, it did seem to take twice as long versus working in an open air room or like I had in previous working conditions under normal circumstances. So pretty excited. We've gotten through all the drywall. Uh, now we're moving on to the skim coat. So we did the drywall, we put the rock up, we taped the seams and turned out pretty decently in terms of, uh, you know, 
how everything turned out. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I think the skim coat's really gonna tie it all together. So, we're gonna do that now. Want it to look as professional as possible, but also the benefit of doing things yourself beyond learning new skills and you know going through the YouTube Academy and drawing on the knowledge of friends and family is you get uh, less, uh, less foot traffic through your, <laughs> your hidden vault room, your little hobbit hole, as it were. And that's good, because too many contractors and uh, other people who know about uh, locations, just exposure. So keeping that to a minimum and doing stuff yourself also saves time. Uh, well, maybe not time, saves money and uh, gives you a new skill, so pretty cool. After we had got the drywall done, we also decided to enhance the storage potential of this room by installing some simple L brackets underneath the staircase itself and cutting up some plywood and making shelf space underneath each individual stair. Now the last task before bringing in wall fixtures and the gear was to lay the tile, do the grout, and put the baseboards on in the room. No joke, after about a day and a half of back-breaking, neck-contorting, crawling around in what I had at this point affectionately dubbed as Harry Potter's hellhole, the tile and baseboards turned out pretty well. It made the transition into the space feel like it had been there from the start of the home build. The time had finally come to outfit the space with gear and wall fixtures. Now, some of the most impressive gun showrooms in the world can be seen online and, of course, on Instagram, outfitted almost universally with one brand's impressive modular display products. Now, I'm talking about Gallo Technologies, aka Gallo Tech. When it comes to this mini armory we were building under the stairs, I knew from the get-go that Galotech's modular wall-mounted gun rack panels, their hangers, hooks, and accessories would be clutch when it came to maximizing storage potential and aesthetic cool factor. Now we selected three of Galotech's pre-packaged kits, and these are kit number 105, 106, and 1033. We'll put links down in the description, but the cool thing about them is they all came complete with the various sized wall panels, and assorted hangers that provided storage and display space for 12 pistols, 11 rifles, numerous magazines of various sizes, and hangers for protective gear like body armor, gas masks, and ballistic helmets. And we also selected the beautifully crafted black steel Galotech weapons cabinet in a 50 inch high by 34 inch wide and 15 inch deep configuration. This cabinet also would hold an additional six rifles, six handguns, and included six sets of stock bases and six upper rifle hangers, two handgun shelves, which hold three guns each, and two accessory shelves. Needless to say, the Galotech lineup of products that we included in this room provided more than enough room for my buddy's current firearms collection with room to grow. But if that weren't enough, as fans of high-tech hardware, we also selected one of the coolest electronic gun safes on the market for the heart of the space, which was the Voltec RS800i Biometric Smart Safe. Now, this is a really tough and rugged 14-gauge carbon steel safe that can be bolted to the ground if you choose, and it features four solid steel locking bolts with anti-pry protection, modular interior that's padded with perforated mounting boards that allow you to customize your space, and features a really durable finish to prevent corrosion and provide that long-lasting protection for all your valuables and firearms that are contained within. The really cool thing about this safe though is it has four fast access points that include the oversized LED biometric fingerprint scanner, the smart key nano remote, which is like a little button you can put anywhere within range and press it and it'll open, and an auto illuminating eight digit keypad with built in proximity sensor, and of course, the manual backup keys. All that to say you have multiple ways to access your valuables within the safe. The other really neat thing about the safe is it will send real-time alerts to your phone with the vault Wi Wi-Fi app or online web dashboard if the safe detects any tampering, impacts, temperature and humidity changes, or other changes to the condition of your safe. This safe provides storage for 8 plus rifles of varying sizes and multiple handguns. Lastly in this room, we mounted a 32 inch smart TV above the weapons cabinet that displayed the feed from the home security cameras and we also installed a small security camera within the safe room itself to monitor the inside of the hidden room. Now as we had officially succeeded at satisfying the shelter component of the survival rule of fours for my prepper buddy and his hidden room project here, I decided to outfit him with the remaining three prepper essentials. First, we got him set up with a three month long term food supply from Ready Hour by My Patriot Supply. Now these meals are pre-packaged, they're sealed in these six rugged water resistant stackable buckets. That'll give him 2000 calories per day for him and his family and they feature a 25 year shelf life. So he should be set for a little while if the shit should hit the fan. 
Now for water, we got him the Survivor Filter Pro X, which is the world's first handheld portable electric survival water filter. And finally, for air, we added three gas masks from a company I really admire, Mira Safety. We included one CM7M military gas mask with professional military grade respirator designed for use with optics and two CM-6M tactical gas masks, which feature that full face visor for unobstructed vision and they're made for professional cyber and defense and preparedness situations. Now the chances and hopes for all of these provisions are that he'll never need to use them, but they're at the ready for him should things go full red dawn. Now, as a cherry on top, and because medical and first aid is super important to me, I also secured him the highly durable recon first aid kit by my medic with 250 life-saving items that have been handpicked by first responders and medical pros packed inside in neatly labeled individualized packages. So that kind of details the process of building this room in very broad strokes and showcases some of the cool gear we put inside of it for those interested in converting the space beneath their own stairwell at home. This is a very cool, very rewarding project, but it does come with a pretty good investment of time and resources. Now the total construction cost of the build on this project was probably around $1,500 US, not including all of the aforementioned products that went into the room and with no charge for labor as it was all pretty much a DIY project that relied on friends and family. The time and energy we all dedicated will vary depending on skill, willingness, and ability for anyone considering taking on such a similar build, but I would say for us semi-skilled amateur renovators, it took between 80 to 100 man hours total of labor over the course of multiple weekends of construction. Cost and time aside, having a unique, cool, concealed storage area for all your gear and the added bonus of seeing the look on your friends and family's faces when you show them the hidden space, well, that's priceless. Check out links to all the vendors, all the cool products, and all the gear that we showcased in this video in the description below. Tell us what you think about the overall build. Remember, shoot straight, be safe, and thanks for watching.